As with any theater, the center of attention is on stage, which is where lots of reconstruction work is being done right now. Around the stage, we've got our drywall finished and we're painting the placidium walls, the stage walls. Uh, we're putting our grills in and uh, trying to get everything cleaned up. The stage acts as a return air plenum for the HVA for all the rooftop units out back. That's where all the air, all the return air comes from, is through the, through the front of the stage. Placement for all the speakers has been finalized and crews will be installing those soon. Those holes are, are for speakers for the sound system. You got one big one up top in the middle of the stage, and then one off each side. And then as you see in these radius wall features, there's two in each side of the theater for speakers there as well. And then there'll be two more speakers for bass that goes in the bottom of the stage, in the front face of the stage. The sound booth has also been built right in front of the elevated platform. There is still plenty of work to be done inside, but it is now ready for the sound crew to proceed. We got our approval on the sound booth, so we jumped on that and got it framed up and, and got drywall hung around the front face and finished, but I still got some rough, the AVL company still has some wires to pull in there. Once they get that, then we'll hang the inside of it. In the main auditorium, panels have been placed in the floor to even everything out. We're doing some floor prep, cleaning a lot, and then where the uh, floor was recessed before, where the, the carpet was in for the aisleways, um, we're filling that in with underlayment, and then we'll, the carpeting that goes down will just be a glue down carpet. There won't be any pad under it but you really don't want a pad in, in something like this. It, it creates a lot of maintenance issues. And so we're just filling that in for the, for the carpeting. The painting work is progressing nicely and will soon be completed. We're trying to get everything finished up. Where they're doing some touch-up work, as you can see, or have been doing some touch-up work around, in, uh, mostly on the west wall, but we should have most everything pretty well touched up and painted down to the Wayne Scott level, and then we'll start We've got, they've got one more coat of paint to put on the uh, stage walls and then they'll start moving to the, to the rear addition, start painting, painting in there. And we've been prepping door frames, getting them ready to paint. Uh, we got one coat on almost everything up front except for in the ticket booth area. Um, kind of holding off on that, we've got some, uh, some electrical that we have to pull through there once, once we get a little further down the road with the marquee. So that'll just kind of have to It'll have to kind of be on hold until I get that in there. The marquee reconstruction has been a hot topic around town, and it looks like work will soon move forward outside. The city's got some uh, things that they're looking at, trying to keep, we got to keep everything in budget. Um, I'm not exactly sure which contractor, we've met with three now, and, and we've given three different proposals. I'm not sure which one they're going to be going with. I believe the one that they're going to be using will be the one that's going to actually use uh, authentic neon in the signs. Um, but like I say, that's, we're, it's hopefully right around the corner. I, I'd really like to get that underway. The city has been hard at work installing a new transformer and moving power lines, so the building is very close to moving onto permanent power. Um, they've got the uh, transformer set. It's ready to go on their end. Um, my electricians have got some wire to pull and make up panels. Should be done by the end of the week. And then uh, first of next week we'll call for an inspection and then we'll, we'll hopefully, if everything goes well, we'll be on permanent power then. The ceilings in the front area of the theater are next on the list to complete. Yeah, we frame ceilings in the restrooms and the information area. Um, my HVAC guys have been doing some trim out work in them. Electricians. As soon as they get caught up, they'll be dropping lights in in there. And we've also framed the hard ceiling in the lobby. And I've gotten inspections on it, and I'm just trying to get the sheetrock hangers back in here. Most of the tile has now been laid and is ready for grouting this week. Yeah, we're, they're cleaning the tile, getting ready to grout it. So hopefully by midday tomorrow, all that'll be grouted in. And then we'll start setting fixtures in the restrooms. And I'll start putting in toilet petitions and trimming out. One large medallion is still missing, so one will have to be recreated from plaster. We're short one medallion for these, these accent medallions. Uh, me and Little Brothers are going to work together to try to re remanufacture manufacture another one that takes its place. And uh, we're going to do a swap off, and then we're going to make some molds, and, and we're going to try to build another one. 
The next several weeks should bring lots more visible progress to the building, including permanent power and the new stage. We're going to start wrapping up all the paint, trimming everything out. Once we get our heat on and I get the building acclimated, we'll start. We'll get the stage cleaned up. We'll start the installation of the stage floor. As soon as he gets done, I'll bring the elevator people in. We'll install the elevator. We've got a lot of work to do coming into this foyer area as far as trying to get floors leveled out. There's there's a lot of different elevations there, so I'm going to be doing a lot of work in there, getting those leveled out so we can just keep bringing finished floor on out. We hope you've enjoyed this update from the Park Theater Group. As the reconstruction process nears completion, please make sure to stay tuned to our social media channels for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.